the ocean is just one giant sponge and it absorbs both heat and carbon dioxide, as you point out. 90% of the heat, excess heat that we've created with carbon pollution, 90% of that heat goes into the ocean, which is incredibly lucky for us because we'd be burned to a crisp if that weren't true. But what that means is there's a lot of heat in the ocean and all of the life in the ocean has to deal with that. Now, it's also, as you say, it's absorbing about you know a quarter to a third of the carbon dioxide that we've put into the atmosphere, which is another great win for us because we couldn't survive with that much CO2 in the atmosphere. But what it's doing is turning when that CO2 goes into the seawater, as you say, it turns it into carbonic acid and it makes the ocean much closer to vinegar than it does, you know, to the way that it used to be. And that's making it harder for coral reefs to build and for oysters to grow shells. It's going to affect the seafood industry tremendously and the rest.